Hi everyone, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be your daily energy reading for Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019. So I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot. But I'm also going to pull you guys an Oracle card. Witchlings Oracle card by Paul D Paulina Cassidy. They're really cool cards. And of course, a Romance Angels card. And a Love card. I don't know what deck yet. We'll figure it out. I have tons here. All right. Let's see what's going on. The energy for the collective spirit Tuesday, October 22nd, 4 cups 2 fours right in a row stability security 4 days 4 weeks 4th four of the month 13th justice Sign of Libra. Let me move these over. Recent past. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female. Crowning you. Ten of Pentacles. So, oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, wow, the Magician. Virgo, Gemini. Some of you are in the process manifesting, having absolutely everything you need to be able to manifest a new beginning. You know, the Four of Swords, you know, you do have two fours here. So, like, you know, four four could be, you know, very significant for you. you know, especially, like, your security, stability, your foundation. Some of you definitely could be in the process of, you know, manifesting more stability, security within your life, feeling more financial, financially secure, even starting a, a new business. Really, you know, with the Four of Cups, you're just, you're not happy. You know, emotionally, you're not satisfied. You know, you're bored. You know, you're not happy with what's being offered to you. Some of you just weren't happy. You weren't satisfied. Therefore, with the magician, 
you're making things happen, you know, you're, you're, you're doing whatever you can to bring in emotional happiness. You know, the Four of Swords is a patient energy. You know, that's why I mentioned, you know, before that you definitely, you could be in the process of manifesting something new. Because this is a patient energy, and I feel like some of you just aren't the happiest with having to wait, with having to be patient. But you're absolutely manifesting something here. You're in the process, and you will be successful. It really is just a matter of time. You know, how do I want to say this? You know, I just don't think right now it is the right time for some of you. Or you're, you're left waiting for whatever reason. Like maybe you're waiting on news. You could be waiting on information. If it's love, you could be waiting on a person. Those of you that are single could be, you know, going from being single to being coupled. Some of you are absolutely bored and, and, and lonesome. And your foundation with justice, you know, you could have received, you know, you could have gotten a divorce. Divorce was finalized. You could be spending some time alone. You know, if not a divorce, could be something legal. You could have signed a contract. And justice, you know, is, is about balance and fairness, too. So if something was out of balance or just wasn't right or fair, you know, this could be definitely fairness coming in for you, being made right for you. You know, with the Four of Cups, you're, 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 you're definitely not happy with the way things are. You know, but it doesn't mean that that's going to last a long time. Maybe it'll only, you know, this feeling will only last, you know, four days, four weeks. You know, you do have the magician. You know, and especially those of you that are good at, you know, making shit happen out of thin air. You have absolutely everything you need to make something happen. And you're, in the recent past, you do have the Queen of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sag. So it could be a fire sign that you were dealing with. I also do feel like for you, for you females, you know, if you're a fire sign or definitely have fire in your chart, you're absolutely taking some kind of action. You know, you're, you're feeling fiery, passionate, determined, ambitious. You know, I feel like some of you, I definitely feel like this is, you know, your energy, you know, just... Or a fire sign, another fire sign that you're dealing with is just really taking matters into their own hands.
and just really making some some shit happen. I mean, it's it's just a very passionate. But look at both of these cards together. A female or a male is definitely making something happen. I think it's her. I really do. Crowning you, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, some of you, you know, you could have moved to a new home, definitely with justice you know, in your foundation. You definitely could have already signed, already moved. Others of you could be planning on doing that. Now, the Ten of Pentacles it could represent family, but also property, assets, inheritances, things like that. You know, especially if you if you're a business owner. You know, and then, you know, some of you definitely could be starting your own business or expanding the business that you already have. You know, there is a little bit of a weight here. But, the, you know, the Ten of Pentacles really, guys, is having it all. And that's what's on your mind. You know, is, is having it all... You know, wanting to feel definitely with the fours, definitely wanting to feel more secure, stable. And then you have a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces coming in with an offer, a proposal. 99.99999% of the time, this is someone you know coming back from the past. Could be an offer or it could be a proposal that's coming in. It just depends on who you are. For some of you, definitely this is love. Others of you, like if you're trying to sell your home, waiting to hear about your business, whatever it might be, you do have a, you do have Loving communication coming in. That is going to make you emotionally very happy. Those of you that are like waiting to sell your house. Or waiting to move. Waiting on an offer. On your home. So you could move. It It, it is going to happen for you. And you know for some of you that's just why... You, you need to be patient. But it is definitely coming in. Justice in your foundation. Some, some of you, I think, already received an offer on your home. Maybe it was too low. You turned it down. You definitely, but that was a good thing because you definitely have a better offer coming in. You know, some of you waited and it's absolutely paying off for you. Others of you, you know, you could have, you know, applied to a job opportunity. You could be waiting on a job opportunity for a new job. Even, or even to sell your business. You've turned something down and now you're getting a better offer. That's pretty much what it is. Let's clarify this four of cups. I'm going to use All right, I'm going to use the ghost tarot. 
great deck. Oh my gosh, the Queen the Queen of Wands again. Let me grab another one. Well, the Page of Wands. News communication. You're being patient and waiting on this news. That is exciting and passionate. All right, let me look, let me look at, definitely, let me see what justice is all about. Justice. Tower. Even on Facebook Live, I cannot get away from this tower. And I it is because we're in Scorpio season. I Okay, the Tower, seven of five of cups. And the seven of pentacles. You definitely put some time into this. So something is definitely happen, happening very suddenly. It, it left it left your life. It ended probably abruptly. It left you, unfortunately, feeling... I don't know. Like, I can't even say hurt. I don't feel it in this card. It's like, finally, it's over. It's done. There's light. You know? <laughs> My dreams are rising. That is a star right there. I don't know why I can't get it. Could be someone else's hurt, but definitely there was there was time, energy, and effort put into this. Again, you know, it could have been a marriage relationship, could have something to do with a home. It is something you worked hard on to achieve, and I feel like, you know, something just happened suddenly. Maybe it has you down a little bit because you're having to, you know, be patient and, and wait. You know, just try, you know, justice is a very favorable outcome. It is the yes card. It is things going in your favor. There, just, there really is no need to get discouraged. And you do have exciting communication that's coming in. And it is going to make you very happy. It really is. This is the front of those um, Witchlings cards. They're absolutely amazing. Only red in the upright. Literally just flew right out. Okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna use the Halloween or the Halloween tarot deck for love. Okay. 
Tis the season, right? everywhere okay wow empowerment just like the magician the queen of wands the determination of your mind and soul will guide you toward unleashing inner power it, it's really don't compromise don't back down stand your ground Guys, you, you, some of you are literally right on the verge of manifesting. You are definitely working very hard toward manifesting something. So don't compromise. Don't settle for less than, you know, what it is that you deserve. chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here someone from the past is coming back and that's moving into your future wow and the nine of ghosts that's the nine of cups there is a lot of emotional happiness here physical attraction that that sexual desire with someone coming back from the past Having that strong connection. For some of you, I do feel like you're getting into a new relationship. If those of you that, you know, if, if you, if there was a breakup and your, you know, feelings got hurt. There is definitely an I'm sorry coming in with the Knight of Cups or vice versa. It could be you that's doing the apologizing. And guys, you are going to make it work. And you are going to be emotionally very, very, very happy. Not just here. I see it. I just see it here too. What would have been your next card for shits and giggles? Wow. Queen of Pentacles. Very interesting. Because under this magician is the and the Seven of Cups. Some of you are definitely deciding between some female, I think. Trying to make a decision. Definitely. So you got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Oh yeah, Virgo here. Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And, you know, I'm going to say it for some, this could happen in Scorpio season for some, I mean, which we are literally in today. Interesting. What a great reading. All right, guys. Absolutely love you guys. I will see you back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye.